You stepping in too, buddy? Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead Patera with you this evening. I know it's going in and out of focus because I've got several things at different distances here. So I've never done a video on this. You've seen this and a lot of people ask and some folks get confused. So I'm just going to talk about it real quick. This is Oliver. Let's do a spotlight on Oliver. Oliver is our oldest pet. He was our first pet in terms of my husband and I when we were married. And he was a stray cat. So we got him a stray cat. Stray cats. He was a stray cat. Um, I was, when I worked as a vet tech assistant uh, in Nashville at, at a place called Pet Med, a really great um, the, uh, veterinary clinic, big one, um, this little guy showed up. Long story short, I took him in. And uh, we've had him, our approximate is that he is 19 years old. So, long story short, he has always been the dominant cat. Okay, the, the big guy. And as you can see, he's really not that big anymore. And it's interesting because he's always been the alpha male. He's been uh, the more dominant animal that we have. He's rather fierce. But as you can see, he's geriatric and he's very, very thin. We just, we, I take him, you know, he goes to the veterinary office. And, and as they say, you're just dealing with a really, really, really old guy. Um, so, you know, we have to give him special care. He, he you know, spends a lot of time... Uh, we try to keep him close to the bathroom where we keep a litter box so he doesn't have accidents and we buy him special feed but he is a love bug if you haven't seen that he is like m mama cat he takes in and loves up on anything that he senses and some people will say oh it's just because he wants to be warm well if he wants to be warm he would be in my lap and he may come on over here here he comes now he's coming see but he Anytime that I have a, a baby chick, like right now we've brought in a rooster that we're not sure what's going on. Doesn't appear to be sick, um, but is needing some attention. It's raining, it's foggy, um, it's leaning on one side. I think we've gotten into a scuffle is what I really think we've done. I don't see anything in terms of a broken leg or even a broken wing. Um, but in his eating and drinking, and I've even placed a, I mean, he doesn't know what to think about these blueberries. Just to, just to see what he's going to do. Okay, we're going to set him up in his own special cage. But I just wanted to show you Oliver simply because, come here baby doll. Oliver literally uh, is one of my most requested or questioned things. You guys see Mr. Peaches all the time. Mr. Peaches is my youngest cat. Uh, and my, the, the most recent adoption. Okay. Uh, he just showed up. But Oliver has been all along, throughout the marriage, all through my kids. When I was pregnant with my first child, he would sleep next to my tummy. He would not let my husband touch my tummy. You can ask my husband. They sort of had a battle of the wills. Uh, he was, he just, you know, he was very protective. And uh, he tends to do that in, a, in an older ripe age with the baby chicks. He likes to go in there and lay by the brooder. And he, it, there's no aggression whatsoever. It's just, you know, you've seen him with butterscotch. But he and butterscotch are big buddies. And as soon as we came in with this guy, here he came. Got to come on in here. Got to check it out and sit with it. So we have Oliver and we have Mr. Peaches. We also have a long-haired female who's very shy. Uh, she was adopted as well. Um, her name is Foofy. And then we have an all-black cat that I adopted. Uh, I actually saved. Got him at three weeks and fed him and kept him. And he has become the alpha now. He actually even rules Mr. Peaches when Mr. Peaches is in the house. So, uh, Bear is his name. So, just wanted to show you Oliver. And to show you, really, how a lot of these animals... I know, this is we got him out there... Uh, he was in the coop, so you can see what's laying down, so you can see what's going on here. Um, a lot of these animals get along really, really well. A lot of folks ask me, how do your animals get along really well? Um, well, we monitor it, and uh, we make sure they all get their individual attention, of course. Uh, we keep a lot of feed out. You know, we keep our animals, you know, a, a lot of times when a lot of folks are, I don't want to say stingy, but I don't know what else word to use right now. Um, you know, we just make sure everybody's really well fed and give them treats, individual attention. And that really goes a long way to lessen competition. So we're in here blow drying this guy. Let me show you. 
And we've got the heater on and just let him rest. We're going to put him in his own separate cage and see how he does tomorrow. But this just, a, and here came Oliver. So I wanted to show you him and tell you all about him because he's just my old buddy, aren't you, baby? Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for going along with us on the journey and uh, for all your questions and, you know, uh, just for being so great to us. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Are you going to lay down with them? Hmm. Got them off the floor now, too, huh? Yeah. Y'all take care out there. <laughs>